I'm back at it with a new video and I'm super excited to share with you guys this new gear that I've been using. Fortunately, Holy Land Tech recently released their new Mars 400 and 400S wireless transmission systems and reached out to me to do this collaboration. In this video, I'll be going over the build, specs, how I use it, and additional accessories to buy for the Holy Land Mars 400. It's going to be a game changer if you're a videographer or filmmaker. Let's get it. What is the Holy Land Mars 400 exactly? If you guys didn't know already, the Holy Land Mars 400 is a dual HDMI vi wireless video transmission system. The Mars 400 is a budget-friendly system that all videographers and filmmakers can afford and now have in their camera bag. Now let's talk about the build quality. For the price, it definitely has a solid build and it doesn't feel cheap by any means. It has a metal and aluminum body and it's not made of plastic other than these antennas right here. The antennas can get screwed off and look at the size of it. I'm gonna show you real quick. It's comparable to a credit card, for example compared to the size of my hand, like how much smaller it is. And when you unscrew the antennas, it could fit in your camera bag or your backpack or even your pocket, um, which you probably wouldn't do. I got this Hollyland case and you could get it right off of Amazon. I have a link down below. Look how nice and padded the storage is. So you could put two um, of these in it, your transmitter and your um, receiver unscrew the antennas, it has a slot for that as well for protection and other accessories, your HDMI cords, micro HDMI cords, whatever you have. Um, you can carry it all right in here for, I believe it's like 20 something bucks, really cheap. Looking at the transmitter, you can see it has three navigation buttons and has an OLED display screen on the front. On the side, it has an on and off switch as well as a USB-C port for firmware upgrade. The bottom has a quarter inch thread for mounting purposes. I'll show you what I use later in this video. The other side has one HDMI in and one HDMI out while the receiver has two HDMI outs. It also has a 160 volt DC in. To power this, you would simply use a Sony NPF battery that we usually have in our camera bag, so I'd probably buy a couple extra. Now let's talk about the specs. Number one, the price. It's priced at $539 for what this is. It's extremely reasonable. So this transmission system has 400 feet of range. So what that means is I could simply walk away from where the actual transmitter is and the receiver could be 400 feet away from that transmitter. I'm gonna do a test right now walking outside of my house. So it's gonna be a cool test because you could see me turning corners around the walls and seeing how far I could simply go before I lose signal. Yo, so I have no mic on right now, but I'm gonna do a quick test. I'm gonna show you guys, I have this setup right here. So I'm gonna walk outside of my house right now. You can see it's back in my dining room table. I'm gonna do a test of a crappy, um, handheld thing right now so won't look that great but just to show you guys the test see I'm walking away from my home cool so I'm outside of the house I'm gonna walk away from it see how far I can walk until it shuts off the monitor is gonna fall off my screen right now but I'm like one house away. Number three, it has app monitoring for iOS and Android. This is perfect to add on an additional monitor for someone on set to view. Or if you don't have an external monitor like this one, you could simply use your iPhone or iPad and you can add up to four devices. To do this, you would go download the app from the App Store, Hollyview, scan the QR code on the bottom, and then it's simply connected. And number four, it has the OLED display screen. This feature is clutch to be able to view the channels you're on, the battery life, and the video format, and much more. Number five, it's portable and lightweight. At 165 grams, compare it to a card or my hand, it's super compact, like I said before, and it's relatively light. Now, before I dive into the cons, if you found this video informative so far, go ahead and click that like and subscribe button real quick, fam. It's gonna help me grow this small channel to reach more viewers like you guys. So now I'm gonna go over how I use it. Number one, it would be a director monitor. This is perfect to have a director or someone a part of the client's team on set or anybody else to be able to view the shot you're capturing without them hovering over you and micromanaging your shot. 
Number two, as a B cam. If you're running production by yourself, for, an, for example, it is clutch to keep an eye on the B cam. Of course, you can have an external monitor that you can always rotate towards you, but with the Mars 400, it's a wireless transmitter, so you can hold the camera in your hand to view or have it on a stand directly next to your A cam. Number three, monitor your second shooter. If you're bringing on another shooter to help you on set, instead of hoping they're getting the shot, you can simply connect the Mars 400 and see what they're capturing in real time. And number four, it's perfect for clients. Clients love it. They can monitor how they look, fix their hair or their posture, and it's great just to have on set. Now let's go over the cons. The only con, and this is a minor one for most people, is the latency. All right, so now I'm gonna be doing the latency test of um, the transmitters. So I'm gonna do a clap. You can see how it lags just a few frames. But if you're using the Mars 400 as a director's monitor like this right here, it won't be a big issue at all. But if you're gonna be using it to pull focus, it may be something to consider with a few lagging frames. This latency may even be more minimal for the Mars 400S, which has SDI ports, but this one in particular it only has HDMI ports. Now I'm gonna go over the accessories to buy. A lot of people don't really talk about this, but um, there's gonna be a few things that you're gonna have to buy in addition to it and everything that I'm gonna be listing for the Mars 400 and the accessories, you can find all in my description down below. If you found something that is unique or something that you need to have, go ahead and click one of those links to help me out with my affiliate on Amazon. The first one on the list would have to be the Sony NPF batteries. And the batteries last a while, so I got these small compact ones because these last about like up to four hours. And it's easier to mount um, and it's not as wide and bulky as the other ones. And number two, it would have to be this Hollyland carrying case that I talked about earlier. It's a hard carrying case. Number three would have to be the small rig 1135 ball head with the shoe mount. The next would be small rig 1855 mini quick release plate like up here. The Canvate super clamp, cold shoe adapters, HDMI male to female adapters, three foot HDMI to HDMI or three foot HDMI to micro HDMI. So overall, if you watch this video and now think you have to have it, it's 100% affordable. For only 539 bucks, you can now step up your production and take it to another level. Click that subscribe button real quick to stay up to date with some new fire videos that I'll be dropping soon. And appreciate you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video, fam.